Another interesting problem and what we have here is a dam and there's a lot of water pushing against this dam. What's given is the height of water is D and its width is W. So what we have to find is number one, what is the force acting against the dam because of the water and two, what is the torque about the line XX and the line XX here is nothing but the base of the dam. So what is the torque on account of the force that is exerted by the water on the dam about the line XX because you can see that there is varying force from top to bottom and which would tend to create a torque about XX or in a way try to turn the dam or twist the dam so that it kind of fails. So we have to find this torque about the line XX. So let's go on and solve part one of the problem first. And we know that the pressure at any point Y below the surface of the water would be given by the equation P is equal to rho G into Y. Well, if this is the pressure at this point and if we take a slice of water over here, which is let us say of thickness dy, then this slice would actually look something like this. And this would actually be pushing against the dam. So, so this is dy, this is w. So you can say, well, the area of this strip is nothing but w into dy. So if this is the pressure at this point over here, that is rho g y because this strip is y meters below the surface of the water, we can say that the force, force at this point or rather the force exerted by the slice of water is nothing but the product of pressure and the delta A area. And we know that delta A area is nothing but W into dy. So this is your dA and we already have pressure P as rho gy. So we can say, well, the force or rather the delta force df is equal to rho gy times the delta area, which is W dy. Well, if this is the delta force due to this single slice, we can integrate df from top to bottom and apply limits of y as y changes from 0 to a depth d. So if you do this, what you'll find is that the total force is equal to, we can take rho, g and w outside and integrate y inside. And what we'll find is that this actually equals, if you integrate it, half rho g w d square. So the total force acting on the dam on account of water can be given as half rho g w d square. Now, part two of the problem wants us to find what is the torque about xx due to this water. Now you can see that the force is changing from top to bottom. It is not constant because the pressure is changing. Hence, we do not have a single force value to just multiply with the distance to get the torque. So what we'll do is we'll say that the delta torque due to this slice of water at this point can be given as a product of the delta force into the distance from the line xx of this slice of water which we know is nothing but d minus y. Now you can see we've already derived the expression for df and all we need to do is substitute it over here. So your df is nothing but rho g y w dy and your distance we know is d minus y and we just need to integrate this now as y changes from 0 to D. So if we rearrange the terms, what you'll get is torque is equal to, we take rho g w outside and we integrate 0 to d y into d minus y dy. And when you do this, what you'll find is that this equals rho g w into dy square upon 2 
minus y cube upon 3 as the limit changes from 0 to d. And when you apply the limits and kind of simplify this equation, what you'll find is that torque equals 1 sixth of rho g w d cube. So the value of torque which is caused along line x6 due to water which in fact tries to turn the dam or twist the dam and causing it to fail is equal to 1 sixth rho g w d cube. So if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for many more interesting videos.